Texturing an object in Blender Octane can get messy sometimes, but is there a clean way? In one of my live streams, I actually showed you guys how you can do texturing in Blender Octane on a Game Boy. And this is the exact tutorial over here, which I just trimmed down for you guys. So yeah, enjoy. Now let's get into the texturing phase and for that I'll just put it over here like this going into our render view now and before we do anything what do you actually have to do is come over here to Octane enable these two things and then go into ACES mode now we're going to be going into our world settings. I'll delete all of this, add in an environment texture and an RGB image. Basically I'm over here adding one thing, an HDRI. So here it is. And the most important thing right now that I want to share with everyone, any texture that you're using, regardless, you're putting it anywhere. If it's not an albedo, the legacy gamma should be one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's just rotate it and let's begin the texturing phase now. So this is going to be a white plastic, not too glossy. And unfortunately, our live stream on Instagram has been ended. So yeah, let me just close Instagram and enlarge the YouTube. Okay, that's a bit too long because I recently switched my monitor setups to like a TIE fighter setup where the monitors on the left and the right, they're both verticals. The ultra wide over here that I'm using, it's horizontal. And the fourth monitor that I'm using for my OBS is also like horizontal. So seeing the YouTube chat like, it's a bit overwhelming. But anyways, but let's not get into that. Let's start the texturing process. So I'll make a new material over here and I would actually go for this black one. This one speaks to me. So I'll just go black. And now what I'm going to be doing is adding in a bit of roughness, something like that. And I'll add in a cinema 4D noise. And if you guys also have the Node Wrangler add on, for Blender Octane because there's like a specific version for it. What you can do is press Control Shift and click on it. Use 4D. Enable all of this. And let's just scale it down for a second. And I'm basically trying to find a smudgy look. I'll just scale it up a bit. Yeah, something like that. So I'll just plug this into our roughness over here and it might look like a mess for now. So what do we do? Let's just place it back over here, add in a gradient map. Exactly, the fun begins now. Mm, so let's just save it. Okay, we got that right. Now what we have to do... Hmm. Okay, do we have any sort of, we could probably add scratches, 
so let's just do that let's add in scratches Let me just disrupt the pattern a bit and add in another gradient map. Okay, we got that right, and let's connect this over here and the scratches are gonna be going into the bump I'll just increase it a bit just a tad bit Hello. yep just like that and the buttons I presume are gonna be glossy so let's just do that as well now let's make a new material for the buttons what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be deleting this and adding in a glossy texture and just darkening it down a bit yep yo let's just try a dirt texture with this one as well so i'll go to dirt texture radius one let's increase the strength let's increase the tolerance distribution be all the way to one let's save it increase the strength a bit okay let's save it and yeah i think we are good to go so what i'm going to be doing now is taking the dirt texture duplicating this putting it into the input value and where is it yep over here so instead of like the white color I'll just put in like something grayish so yeah that's like advanced texturing for you but not like super super advanced this is like a basic node setup that we did you can try adding pretty noise to the radius of the dirt. Oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. So let's just duplicate this and plug it into the radius. Okay, I think that's like good enough for the stream and now I'm gonna be linking the material that we made for the d-pad to the other buttons so let's just quickly do that control L link materials and now let's work on the screen so for the screen i'm gonna be taking this 
and as much as i remembered oh what well, why not do it like this shift d p selection and i'll just put this right above the screen because this is going to be our screen protector so i'll go into my materials new delete uh delete this add in a specular material mm. here it is Alrighty, we got the screen over here. Okay, let's save it. And over here, fake shadows, effect alpha. And what I'm going to be doing now is... If I add in... You know what, I'll just copy it over here because this stream is getting a bit too long so I'll just copy it and just paste it over here and yeet plug it into our bump and yeah we got a little bit of scratch action going around wink wink now we need something to go over here so for this screen, what I'm going to be doing is I'll just hide this. I'll take this and basically add another material, assign, new. And this is going to be a TFT display. So I'll just darken it down, crank up the roughness and add in an emission texture by the way guys drop your favorite 90s game in the chat i want to know what sort of games that you used to play in the arcades so emission texture emission mm. okay let me guess I mean, I used to play Metal Slug a lot, so let me just grab a screenshot of that. Metal Slug X. So, I'll go to Images. Save Image. And yet, saved. Now I'll just save it. And I'll just add in an RGB image. Open. And going to my downloads. Here it is. okay so to fix this what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into the top view and we're going to be going into the uv editor opening up our image selecting everything and just going you project from view i'll select everything and just scale it up i was born in okay okay sorry about that bro you missed out a lot i mean this is not like the exact resolution but it will have to do for now so let's just put it like this over here and go back into our shader editor and the power should be one or like five 
Hey, nice man. Dude, you really should try this Metal Slug game. You're going to be loving it. And Alt H to unhide our glare screen. Yep, there is our screen. And why is this guy floating? Get out. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are also done with the texturing part as well. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something new today and if you're going to be implementing it, hey, I would love to see the result. Just head on over to Instagram.com slash official and show me the results. I really want to see it. Or better yet, hey, join our Discord community. Links in the description. And if these sort of tutorials and these live streams are helping you out, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel or heck, even just like the video so I know you at least heard me. So yeah, I mean, that's about it. But... I'll see you in the next one. God bless you and your families.